This video demonstrates how to pass an argument into your program and then use that argument to open a file. So what we're going to be passing into the program is a file name such as the file name 20nums.txt into our program via the program arguments and then we're going to open the file and read the contents and output a histogram. So let's take a look at what this is currently doing which is opening the file 20nums and then producing a histogram. And the histogram is based on the number of zeros, ones, twos, threes, and fours. So the more there are, the more asterisks that are given. So we'll take a quick look at 20 nums to see that there are actually, yes, quite a bit of zeros. There are six zeros. And our histogram produced six zeros. Okay, that's good. So if we want to use an argument, we need to add in some parameters to our main. So first is argc. Argc tells us how many arguments there are. So let's go ahead and do a refresher and we'll just output argc. Alright, so if I run like this, argc output 1, but if I add, say, 20 nums.txt, then argc is 2. If I also pass 40 nums.txt, then argc is 3. And so what we're going to be doing for this program is we're going to want to have exactly two arguments. The first argument is being the program name, and the second argument is the name of the file we're going to open. So if argc is not equal to 2, then we have an error. And that is the program format is a.out and then file name. And that's what we would, were expecting. And if it's not the case, we give them that prompt, and we return 1, indicating an error. OK, let's try out that behavior of having a specific number of arguments. And here, I only put in one argument, the name of the program, a.out. And it tells me the program format is like this. I need to have a.out and then a file name, such as 20 nums. And there we go, and that outputs the correct values for the 20 nums. But what if I also had the, another argument, a third argument? Uh, now we get that prompt again, that the program format is very particular. Good. That's a good thing. What else do we need? Ah, we also need argv. Now let's output argv at location 0 at index 0. So we can see what we're getting. Oh, we need to have two arguments. So pass two arguments. argv at index 0, or the first location, is just our program name, which is what we had just I just typed in there. What about at location 1? Compile, execute. At location 1, we have the name of the file. So I'm just going to copy argv and replace what we're opening. And I'm going to say opening so that I know what file I'm opening. I'll recompile. Now I'll run 20 nums. And it tells me we're opening 20 nums.txt. And there we go. After replacing the what file we're actually opening with the argument, we're now getting the right output. Now what about, I had another text file in here that had it was called 40 nums. So on the command line, I'm just changing the second argument to be 40 nums. And there it opened 40 nums, and it output the number of instances for the first 20 in 40 nums. Awesome.